Hey guys, and welcome to my skincare and shower routine video. The first thing I do is turn on my shower playlist. Showers are just not the same without the music to help create the vibes. Next, I'll be turning on my diffuser, adding a few drops of my favorite essential oil, which is the eucalyptus oil. I like using the red or pink LED light because it's passionate and hot and that's my mood when it's shower time. Next, I'll be showing you my Radiant Spin Care System that I was gifted from Duvo. The only thing that you'll need to help power your brush is just four AA batteries as the set does not come with batteries included. The brushes in this spin care system removes dirt, makeup, and excess oil more thoroughly than your average washcloth. Each pour gets individual attention, which I think is really good. The first brush that I am holding is the cleansing brush. This brush is extremely soft and extremely gentle, as you can see me rubbing it on my hand and rubbing it in a circular motion. The next brush is the exfoliating brush for your face. This is also extremely soft and gentle on the skin as well. Next is the cleansing brush. Again, this brush is extremely soft and extremely gentle. If you have a hard time remembering which brush is which, the cleansing brush is an off-white color. However, it is listed on the box to help further guide you. If you head over to my description box, there is a surprise inside for you on this brush set. Duoval is giving you 70% off if you use my code. All the information is listed and I'm happy that you guys get a chance to experience the skincare brush set. Today we're going to be doing a cleansing, we're going to be exfoliating twice, we're going to be shaving, we're going to be washing our hair and we're going to be oiling down our body. So now I'm going in with my lavender pure castile soap from Dr. Bronner's. I put a really good amount onto my brush and now I'm just using the brush onto my body and just giving myself a really good cleanse. The fine brush bristles gently removes dead skin cells and unclogs pores to reveal that radiant, fresh and clean skin hiding underneath. You can use this brush on any part of your body, not just your face. Arms and legs also loves a good exfoliation too guys. So my back was a little hard to reach, but that's okay because I'm going to be going in with my exfoliating towel. So then my back is going to get a good cleanse once I use my towel. All of the products that I'm using are going to be listed in my Amazon storefront. So if you want to shop them, you can just click on the link in my description box. This exfoliating towel is also really gentle on the skin. It's hard enough to give you a good exfoliate, but gently enough not to be so rough on the skin. Next, I'm going in with the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. So I normally like to exfoliate before I shave because this helps me to give myself a really good clean and gentle shave, helps to remove any ingrown hairs if I have any, and just makes my body feel overall soft when everything is done. <laughs> Thank you.
This particular scent is the almond and mango and it smells so amazing. So when I use this, I gently massage this into my skin and I rub my hand in circular motions. So the whole point of this is just giving yourself a nice pamper and a nice massage while still giving yourself a good exfoliant. Then I'm going to be going in with my Honey Pot Foaming Wash. I'm not going to show you guys that part because I think we all know how to wash our lady parts. Then I'm going to be going in with my Skin Timid and Disposable Razor and I'm going to be shaving under my arms. I'm also going to be shaving the rest of my body but I won't show that in the video so you guys get the gifs. Um, I am washing the remaining parts of my body and you know really giving myself a good cleanse and a good exfoliant off of the camera but just showing you guys some bits of my routine. Okay, now that we've covered body, we're going to be moving on to my hair. So I'm pretty much doing the same wash day routine in my self-care video. If you haven't seen that video, I'm definitely going to link it in this video for you to go and check it out. So I'm going to be washing my hair. I do a double cleanse. I'm using the TGIN Rose Water Shampoo. going to be going in with the suave conditioner i literally love all of suave conditioners they are so good and so inexpensive this was literally three dollars in target so they give you a really good detangle they keep your hair moisturized and they do a good job for half of the price then i'm going to be going in with my wide teeth detangle comb so my biggest tip for detangling curly hair or even coily hair is just to detangle your hair in the shower under the water that makes the process easier and just helps you not to lose or shed so much hair. So I'm just giving my scalp another massage just to ensure I rake up all of the dandruff flakes and just to further scratch my scalp and give myself a little pamper before I end this wash day. Now I'm going in with my baby oil gel by Johnson's & Johnson's. You guys, I literally swear by this routine where if you oil your skin down in the shower while you're still wet, it will leave you super moisturized. You won't be oily. You just pat yourself dry and your skin will literally love it. You'll be baby soft and it'll just be an overall amazing experience. I've been doing this for 10 years.
Now that we've covered the skincare and shower routine, we're gonna hop out of the shower and we're gonna move into deep conditioning my hair. So I'm gonna be using the TGI and hydrating mask. And I'm also gonna be using the hair spa heat conditioning cap that I got off of Amazon. Again, you can find this product linked in my storefront. What I like about this heat cap is that it gives just enough heat for where it feels super cozy. I kind of feel the heat through both of the caps but it wasn't so bad where it was like burning my ears or my forehead so I like that I get to have a salon experience in the comfort of my home leaving this hydrating mask on for 30 minutes and then once I'm done I'm going to hop into my skincare routine using the Radiant skincare brush system so I'm gonna be starting with the bliss clarifying gel cleanser I take two pumps put it onto the brush gently rub it in and then I start to work the brush onto my face with the cleanser what i love is that this is so soft and so gentle and literally takes the work away from me having to use my hand to actually wash my face So once I'm done cleansing my face, I then go ahead and pat dry my face using paper towel. I literally always use paper towel to dry my face. It's just a clean, neater alternative to using towels. And I'm gonna be going in with Witch Hazel just to give my face an extra clean. So I'm not exfoliating in this video because I literally exfoliated the day before. So I'm only gonna be cleansing and then toning. Next, I'm gonna be going in with my vitamin C from Coco Kine. So I do about four pumps of this on my face and then I gently rub it in using my fingertips. Once I'm done, I go in with my face spa roller and I like using this because it helps to deep puff under my eyes, but it also helps to circulate blood throughout my face as well. Then I'm going to be going in with my Birds and Bees Overnight Lip Treatment. So I did give my lips an exfoliation yesterday as well. So I'm only going to be doing an overnight lip treatment in this video. Then I'm going to be going in with my Summer Friday Jet Lag Mask. So what I'm showing you is my nighttime routine since I'm not leaving the house. And I like to use the Summer Friday Jet Lag Mask as an overnight mask.
going to be going in with the e.l.f. Nourishing Night Cream. So I've been using this night cream for the past two months. I absolutely love it. It keeps my face hydrated. And this is pretty much it, guys. So I definitely hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to showing you guys more.